Hi guys, so how are all of you doing? The exam was actually um, quite simple, the jam exam. I just came back uh, home from the center. My center was quite far, so it took me a little time to reach back home. And I'll be uploading the answer keys very soon. Like, I think um, my phone's battery is low, uh, so uh, it, it will take me time to recharge it and then uh, I'll upload the answer key. 50% of the questions I remember as it is, I actually wrote them down right right after I came back from the exam on the back of the admit card. So I remember 50% of the questions. And uh, see, initially, if I, if, if I talk about the paper, I had a lot of time to analyze the paper because I was done with the paper in about one and a half hours, right? The questions, uh, first of all, the paper was very simple. It was more dominant, like I said previously also, it will be more dominant towards organic because IIT Bombay was making it. So there was a lot of questions from organic and physical. They were very easy, but there were more questions from organic and physical. I roughly counted there were 34 marks from organic chemistry and 38 marks from physical chemistry. So that gives us 72 marks. Uh, five, three marks questions were from mathematics, so 75. And so you can see in, in, in organic chemistry, there was only about 25 marks of paper, which is quite less. Uh, earlier you would see more more questions from inorganic but this has been the trend in all entrance exams be it net uh, gate tifr paper or in all these exams you 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 would have seen more of physical chemistry uh, be it spectroscopy or numericals and less of inorganic chemistry so this year this has been the trend maybe this could be the shift in the trend where more questions from organic and physical will be asked and less from inorganic but but in this year's paper in all 2018 and end of 2017 papers you have seen more of physical chemistry in all the examinations right now coming on to organic organic was actually i am very happy because most of the questions or mo most of the topics that i predicted they came as it is there was, there was a question on number of base pairs on go of uh, guanidine and cyto uh, guanine and cytosine right then there was a question on tetrapeptide based on uh, sanger's method uh, there were two questions from carbene chemistry one question from benzine right i'll discuss uh, the solutions to all those uh, questions and um, you know so uh, there was a question on deals alder a uh, very simple question from deals alder so it was a two marker i guess so many predictable questions were there then there were two questions based on your uh, physical chemistry like uh, you know uh, uh, those kinetics questions simple decomposition is taking place uh, how 75 percent has decomposed how much will, uh, how much will it happen in so so and so time i mean basic questions from uh, physical chemistry as well so overall the the paper was actually very very simple even the uh, few inorganic questions that came uh, from from uh, coordination were quite simple um, there were some tricky questions from your main group elements so that also i'll be discussing in a while and yeah so in in all the question paper was quite simple ir spectroscopy there was a question right from my videos carbonyl compounds the stretching frequencies there was a very very simple question nat type on uh, nmr like which of these will give integration 2 is to 2 is to 1 so that was actually very very simple there were only two compounds i guess right and uh, all right so just wait for my video around 5 5 30 i'll upload the answer key right and I hope all of you did well. Uh, if you had followed my videos, definitely I, I can guarantee you that 30, 30, 30, 35 marks of, uh, of your exam you could have done right from my videos, right? So anyway, uh, just let me know how your exam went. Just comment down below and uh, just wait for the answer key, right? Thank you.